<clears throat> All right, is it on? Hello, it's me, Queen Sensitivity. Ah, oh, my ears. And I'm here for a quick update right now. There is um, an M class flare, and I have been feeling very exhausted. I was out uh, having some tea and suddenly I felt super exhausted <laughs> to the point where I had to take a break before I could drive home. Um, but also I didn't really go to sleep <laughs> when I had the chance. I kind of just was like not awake. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, so I feel huge changes coming on and I just wanted to come on. There'll be more information I think in the description of like more words but I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna pull cards. We do have death on the bottom, and then we have um, ace of cups and the sun. So off the back, I feel like what's going on right now is a huge rebirth, I think. Um, it, like globally, a huge rebirth. Um, some people might actually be giving birth around this time or um you might have pains in your sacral chakra of like cramping from the womb area regardless of if you have a womb or not um and then with this ace of cups i think a lot of inspired ideas are coming i've had this feeling uh today of like just wanting everything to change in terms of like um my work uh and like what i've been working towards um so you might have the feeling or the need to like change your occupation uh, about or at this time and just start a new leaf, extreme frustration and just wanting to do things differently, I feel just all around. And with the sun, I feel like this is literally like the sun <laughs> above. Um, I think, like I said, there's an M class solar flare and a lot of uh, showman resonance spikes. So a lot of solar activity the sun is uh, <laughs> causing all of this, but you know what I mean? Like bringing this out of us is a reason for the inspiration. Uh, anything else that we need to know right now? Mm -hmm. I saw the lover's card. I'm gonna take it out and it wanted to come out anyways. The lover's card was out earlier and the magician card came out now. Please clarify the magician, please. The magician card is clarified by the tower. I keep getting a magician card a lot. That's why I wanted to go ahead and clarify because I'm like, what is this talking about? I do feel like this has to do with the divine masculine, either a person who represents the divine masculine, if you uh, have a divine counterpart, uh, which, you know, we all kind of do, um, or, you know, or and the divine masculine within all of us is having a tower moment. I feel and I'm hearing they're really being called to step up. Uh, I have been... I guess guided uh, by a fellow light worker uh, and I, it makes a lot of sense but the Sun which is also you know s o n the Sun is like the divine masculine stepping up representing that uh, Sun energy a lot of uh, I just heard it I don't know if you heard it uh, representing the Sun energy and so it's like the <clears throat> the Sun is calling the suns <laughs> to step up they really need to step up so um if you have divine masculine or even maybe that's the divine masculine and you want in that change they have to step up they have to be willing to let everything crumble down with this tower card i feel this very much <clears throat> in my chest and even my throat needing to be cleared a little bit like the divine masculine has to step up and i feel like if they aren't voluntarily stepping up, it, they're being forced to, they, they have no choice because the energies are so intense. Um, I did see like somebody posted that around the new moon, there would be a lot of this stuff happening, but it's happening right now because time doesn't really exist. <laughs> and so everything is always kind of happening at once and you know, energies are here before and after. So the new moon and, and whatever energies are already here now, uh, and this is happening now big time with this magician. A magician card is about somebody taking their power back, taking back all like the separate uh, suits of the wand and the cups and the swords and the, um, and the coins, the pentacles. like separated and the magician is claiming all of those tools back for them 
to harness. I heard for him to harness. Um, so yeah, again, that emphasis on the divine masculine. And this one, it's like <clears throat> this divine masculine is above looking down below. So I feel like this is the masculine or the father energy of God, of spirit, of source, looking down, you know, even though, you know, you know what I mean? It doesn't really look down because God is within all of us. Um, <clears throat> but like looking down and like getting the pot stirred, <laughs> like getting everybody to move. So um, if you happen to be living with a divine counterpart, uh, that is your masculine, um, I feel I'm hearing to like be very considerate of them or have a lot of compassion if they seem to be like um acting out or like more um i don't know like grumbly because this is what's happening they're being forced a lot especially if they've been in a lot of a school bus just passed by like busting them for if they've been in a lot of resistance some uh divine masculines have been been in more resistance than others if they've been in a lot of resistance there's stuff about to, I just heard their shit about to crumble. <laughs> like whatever it is that they've been holding on to instead of doing what they're here to do, which is to be this uh, magician, uh, it's about to be crumbled and they won't have a choice but to um, move forward. Anything else you want to say about that? I'm hearing to go to the lover's card that fell out. The lover's card was one of the first cards I saw while shuffling the deck and I intentionally put it back into the deck. So, you know, if it wanted to come out, it would come out. And then as you saw while I was shuffling, it kept being seen or wanted to be seen. Um, so the lover's card is really important. I feel like um, this tower moment that's being catapulted by all the solar energy pushing them towards being the divine masculine, the magician. <laughs> the letter M is really important. Divine masculine, magician, and also March and May, I felt were very important um, months because of the M's. I don't know, I heard that earlier, but uh, like their reward or their like reason to not fall apart you know, at this strike of lightning, which has been a reoccurring word, lightning, uh, is is you or, you know, is the divine feminine, is the, uh, is the connection, the divine union, because the pure bliss and love of it uh, surpasses any pain and discomfort that comes with uh, being, having a spiritual awakening. It surpasses it uh, and goes above it into bliss. Okay? And so... What does the collective need to know right now? Any ad advice or, I just feel like to say whatever they need to know, what do they need to know? That one, that one, and one more. So on the bottom we have caring connections. So um, Laura Fay, um, a YouTuber and an Instagrammer, but just a diviner, she talks about, and also Ramona Lappin emphasizes how uh, divine counterparts, twin flame connections are extremely important uh, because their union is, I'm gonna try to explain it in my way, <laughs> is the representation of the split that happened that caused all of this separation and pain and suffering and the the karma and the lessons you know the split of um the consciousness i think that's the right way to phrase it and if not just take what i what you know i mean intuitively based on before you take the words that i say <laughs> like no know, know what i mean intuitively um but they have to come together in a physical way uh for that to be that reunion to happen to heal the consciousness <laughs> uh, back into one. So divine counterparts are a huge role. They, they play a huge role in uh, ascension in the process of rising. And so now we have um, Goddess of the Moon. 
The moon talks about an anxiety, uh, you know, in comparison to the sun, which talks about illumination. The moon is, you know, at night when things are cloudy and unsure. So you might be having some anxiety right now. And I feel like this could be just, uh, which way to describe this? Can you, what's this anxiety about, please? The fourth chakra, the heart chakra. So this is just uh, clearings happening in your heart chakra so your heart can be completely open. So if you have anxiety or you feel confused right now, you don't know which way to go, uh, it's just clearing. Uh, Archangel Raphael is helping with that. So I would say just relax, but it's hard to relax when you have anxiety, but this is what's happening. We have the world card. I'm hearing they miss you. So um, again, with the divine counterparts, um, and the tower card with the magician card i feel like and even the moon or the earth kind of looking like the moon right here it's like you're both both the divine masculine and divine feminine are like coming out of like the shadows i guess like a lot of clarity is happening a lot of remembering a lot of reinvigoration of the passion or like who they are like imagine if um you were married to somebody and you were both put under amnesia and separated and you know into the world and it's like you finally are remembering that you were married to somebody like in Hancock and it's like oh my god like whoa <laughs> like I was in love with this person where are they where did they go it's like this feeling of like anxiously wanting to go towards somebody is this is for the divine masculine and I feel like this is the divine feminine uh, the last card is Blossoming Abundance, which was sitting right next to this ca Divine Counterparts, and also this Death card. Uh, so there is a lot of um, things being turned, turned around, turned up upside down, uprooted, uh, so that new abundance can be planted. So if you feel uprooted, uprooted and turbulence, uh, then... This is why. It's because new roots need to be uh, replaced, okay? Let's do any advice about, any advice for this uprooting. Just one, please. Okay, right, they said no. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> take this one, the storm warning card, and with this card, and the hostilities as well. I don't know if you can see hostilities hostilities and then the man holding a heart and then the storm cloud so again it's this thing about like things are going to be cloudy and stormy but i'm hearing like to just go with the waves and don't judge yourself for any emotions even if you're angry and impatient uh, you know and doubting just flow with them don't try to stop them because ultimately again they're clearing the way for this and I get, I'm getting this message and I heard it earlier for the Divine Feminine. Um, you are to be in receiving mode. So you don't need to worry about like going or going towards something, um, especially in terms of like the Divine Counterpart, like the, the Divine Masculine has to deliver to you uh, or to them if, you know, whoever's watching this video, <laughs> the Divine Masculine has to deliver to the Divine Feminine. That's why this man holding the heart made sure to come out with this storm warning. So you might even be feeling some of the tower moments happening because uh, the divine masculine and feminine are one. So you might even be feeling some of the tower moments happening for the divine masculine on your end. Uh, and like, what's going on? Uh, so that's why. Just go with it. I'm here and like, just really like be in a raft on the, the stormy seas and just go with each wave, you know, because you're helping by being there because you're clearing it out with your magnificent energy so this has been your quick little reading uh hope this helped and bye oh yeah leave a comment but bye <laughs>